<laughs> That's so ridiculous. It actually works. <laughs> Hey guys, this is my review for Spectral. Now, most of you are probably going, Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars. If you didn't see it, Netflix released this really nifty movie called Spectral, which is basically a mix of Ghostbusters and Black Hawk Down. Yeah. So this movie has the guy from Pacific, James Page Dale, or I can't, I think I said James Page Dale, Page Dale. Anyways, he's one of my favorite little actors. He's been in a bit of few movies here and there, but really he showed off his acting chops in the Pacific, and every time he's in something I always enjoy his presence. And so he's this scientist guy who's basically a lead engineer of military tech in terms of defensive capabilities, the uh, armor robots and these spectral glasses that are able to see through spectrums of light i guessing seeing enemies through walls or stuff you never actually really know what they're for it's what they do in this film there's these guys who are in borodo Borodo. anyway some middle east some eastern european country and ghosts are killing marines and delta force and you're like whoa what's going on so he gets over there and he's Fine. He starts to see evidence of that they're there, and he wants to go on a mission with them. And everything from there just explodes into this crazy survival action film of Marines and all these Delta Force operators against ghosts. Yeah! <laughs> And it sounds so stupid saying it out loud, but it's actually really cool. The idea of using the science aspect of it. It's like basically if you're a Supernatural fan, this movie is the science version of ghost hunting to the core. And every element of this film is just laid down with science and jibbity gibbity and bloody blah and stuff being put together and all this cool tech stuff. When you really watch it in terms of characters, there's really no characters in it. James Page Dale is just the guy who will think of stuff to fix it. He doesn't really have more so, he basically he is committed to trying figuring out what these people are. He has sort of a moral complex, but really, he's a, everyone's a, in this movie is kind of a cliche character. He even at one point is able to, you know those cliches where everyone's having an argument and the one character has an epiphany, and he says that out loud, and everyone's like, what? Oh yeah, that happens twice in this movie. Twice. But in terms of an action film, you will be going, whoa, that is so cool throughout this whole film. Legendary Pictures is behind it, and they have an amazing effects team, as they've always done, and the visuals in this film are nuts. You'll be interested in this movie just from a visual aspect, and then especially the final battle with the pew 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 guns, and like, whoa, everything's just so crazy. It's, it's a nuts film. It's a stupid nuts film, but it takes itself so seriously, and it works, that you actually don't get turned off on it. It actually is a really compelling film, Right into the end, the aesthetic of the film, the production design, is super impeccable. And in terms of rewatchability, it's not so much because this film is more so of a whoa kind of thing. Really, my biggest gripes with it are that there really isn't any character in this film. It's very kind of straightforward, and it ends. That's probably my biggest gripe is that it ends. I did not want this movie to end because the aspects of it were just so cool. There's a lot of really good visuals in this film. There's some really good shots, especially in the middle battle with these tanks and the ghosts and this and the iron fillings. That was really well done. In terms of a re I, in terms of a standard straight up film, it is fun. It is silly but you'll still enjoy it, and we even kind of be pulled into it, but the film really doesn't explain its science so much, it just, there's a part where he builds all the cool, amazing technology they use later on, and he builds it with scraps, it kind of made me think of that scene from Tony Stark, Tony Stark built this in a cave with a box of scraps! Either way, Spectral gets a 5 out of 7 for me. Any Supernatural fan, you will enjoy this, because this is kind of creepy weird how sciencey and how many references to supernatural you'd be able to make in this with all the good times the brothers have fought against ghosts anyway guys that's all for me see you guys later